I'm gonna show you seven exercises that you can do with your pickleball partner. They're fun exercises, you need minimal equipment, and all gonna work on speed, agility, and core. Today, I'm doing my exercises with mom, uh, uh, the wifey. Seven exercises, let's get to them. Travis is just in the back. Can we do a test one? Yeah, yeah, test, test, test. All right, our first exercise is gonna be a med ball core exercise. It's kind of like a Russian twist. You're gonna get with your partner, a couple feet away from each other. I have a 10 pound med ball. Well, I'm gonna throw it to her over on the far side of her. She's gonna catch it, absorb it, tap it on the ground, throw it back to me. Don't mess up, babe. I like to go feet in the air. If you struggle, you can go feet on the ground. Also, to make this a little bit more difficult, throw it higher. <laughs> Typically, you'll do about 10 reps on each side. Forget that he's just back there still. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just gonna be juking you out. Exercise number two is going to be a mirror drill. This is the most fun exercise that you can do with a partner that's gonna train your agility. So I'll typically go on the line, I'll like go on the center line or the sideline or even the kitchen line, but I'm gonna be, there's gonna be a rabbit and there's gonna be a chaser, right? Like so I'm gonna have Michelle come face me in front of me where it's gonna be right in front of these lines. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay within these two, within the end line and the kitchen line. I'm just gonna try and juke her out. She, her goal is gonna be trying to be nose to nose with me the entire time. So I'm trying to juke her out. She's trying to stay directly in line with me. She doesn't wanna be off at all. That's the challenge, right? She's, it's a reactive agility exercise. Ready, go. Whoa, come on. <laughs> these shoes are not made for this. <laughs> I'm gonna tear something. You should have told me about these shoes, man. You should have told me I was shuffling. <laughs> Go. I'm being nice, gotta go slow for her. <laughs> Relax. We'll typically do these for no more than seven seconds because it is very exhausting, especially going 100%. And then we'll switch, switch roles. She would then, uh, I would then chase her and do the same thing. Reactive agility exercise. About seven seconds, two to three sets. She's gonna try and juke me out, see what she's got. Ready? Born ready. What is this? This is so easy. Well, you're not like me. <laughs> some people like to just be like, like this. They like start to move. Like I do this with some people. I'm like, move your feet. And just, I'm like, yeah, I'm those I'm like, so on. Like, right. Exercise number three is going to be a pro agility race. It's a modified pro agility, but either way, we're going to be racing. So typical pro agility, you watch like NFL Combine. They do a sprint five yards, they sprint full 10 yards, and then they sprint back five yards. We're gonna do that modified to the court. So we're gonna start on the center line. Michelle's gonna face me. Nicely done. Facing me. And we'll plan out the start, right? Like, so I'm gonna say we're gonna sprint to the, my left side first. We're just gonna get a go call. We're both gonna sprint, touch the left line, this line with our foot, not our hand. Sprint over here, touch it with our right, and then sprint back through the middle. Trying to race, trying to be first. Can't let my wife beat me. All right, so you ready? Ready, set, go. <laughs> no way! <laughs> I got long legs. She cheated too, so. Oh, your legs are 10 meters long, sir. <laughs> I'm just talking to the camera, it's not about you. <laughs> she took that to heart. <laughs> Typically we'll do about two to three reps on each side. So that's one rep going, just starting it to the left. We'll do the other rep. Another rep going to the right, or we'll do two to three on each side, about 30 seconds rest in between each rep. You just wanna make sure that these are max effort, right? Like this is a sprint and it's an agility exercise. You wanna go as hard and as fast as possible. That's why it's good to compete and have your partner right there because it pushes you to go hard. Easy one. Exercise number four is gonna be partner pal-off presses. This is a simple one. All you need is a band, a moderately tensioned band. This one might be a little light. I like to go a little bit heavier, but anything that's gonna challenge your core. So what we're gonna do is she's gonna grab the band and she's gonna take a little step that way. I'm gonna get light tension on the band to start. She's facing opposite ways, we're facing opposite ways. We're gonna get a decent distance apart from us so that when I push out my arms, they're in a straight line. Quarter squat, you're gonna press out and hold. 
and then I'm gonna press out and I'm gonna do little pulses to my right, kind of like, like working on that rotation. So I'm, we have tension, I'm gonna pull and then come back to center. Her goal is to just hold and keep it there. So I'm gonna pull, come back to center eight different times. She's gonna hold to the center the entire time. So I'm working, going through the motion, but I'm also working her because she's gotta hold and resist that motion. And then from there, we'll switch roles. They're gonna just switch sides like this. I'll do the other side, I'm doing the same thing. Boom, boom, boom. And then she goes and I hold. So we switch roles. We'll do two sets of that, rest for about a minute in between. We're training our core and our ab muscles. Exercise number five is gonna be a push-up to sprint race. I like to have a ball or an object at the end so that we race, try and grab the ball and see who really wins the race. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in a push-up position, the bottom of a push-up position. So pretty much laying on the ground with our hands in position. We're gonna push up, sprint. We're gonna start back here. Sprint to the kitchen line, touch the line, and then sprint back to the line. Got it? You ready to rock? So we're gonna start with this ball in the middle. It's a tennis ball in the middle of us. We're gonna be in a push-up position. Sprint, touch the line with either foot. Sprint back, whoever grabs the ball first wins. Hands behind the line. Wait, you can't say go, because you know. I will let you say go. Okay, ready, set, go. <laughs> Let's go! All right, a great exercise to one, train speed, train agility, but get competitive, right? Like, it's good to have a partner so that you go max ever, you get to challenge yourself, and you get to push yourself as hard as possible. Come on. <laughs> Exercise number six is gonna be a little bit different from the rest. It's gonna be a hand-eye coordination drill. So we're gonna do ball drops. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my hands to the side of hers, right? Same height, not below, not over, not under, looking around. She's gonna drop a ball randomly at random times. I'm gonna react, drop, catch the ball, and put it back in her hand. She can drop two, she can drop one. It's all random. I'm just trying to focus, lock in, and work on my hand skills. Nice. Hey. 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 Oh, I cheated. Hold on, don't make me laugh. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Damn it. Jeez, dude. Exercise number seven is gonna be a partner linear shadowing exercise. So another speed and agility exercise. Michelle is gonna be sprinting stopping when she wants, turning left, turning left, right when she wants, and I'm gonna be behind her, shadowing her. So every time she stops, I have to stop. Every time she moves a little to the right, I have to move to the right. Every time she goes to the left, and vice versa. So you're, we're kind of staying within this little pathway. You're not gonna run through the whole warehouse, but you're sprinting, stopping, maybe sprinting this way, stopping, cutting, and I'm gonna be behind you, shadowing you, not running in the back, kicking your heels. <laughs> All right, ready? Be faster though, ready? Hold on, hold on, come back, go. Start right there and just try and keep that same distance. Ready? Well, that was hard, I was right. Let me close this out. For the partner linear shadowing, we'll typically do two to three reps for each person shadowing and chasing the other person. Two to three reps, about two to three sets, 30 seconds to a minute of rest in between those. And the only way to end it is you gotta jump in your partner's arms. <laughs> oh, I was not ready for you to jump on me. Good catch, you all right? Yeah, Belly? took the air out of me. All right, Travis is still low key in the background. <laughs> Zoom in on Travis. <laughs>